Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, I'm Chief Sweet, and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the Steam Deck if you installed Windows on it and the buttons aren't working. To fix this, all we're gonna do is install a software called SWICD that's gonna trick Windows into thinking these controls are an Xbox 360 controller. Before we get into the video, let me talk about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is the one-stop shop for everything involving data privacy and security. As you may know, anyone can find your information on the internet, including your name, email, phone number, and home address. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to people who are very interested in you. Or will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt out requests on your behalf. You can use my link in the description and here to try two weeks for free or scan the QR code and see how many data brokers are sharing your information. I checked out mine and these are all the places with my data. Aura also features a VPN, antivirus, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring. Or has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. And remember to use the link in my description for two weeks free. Now back to the video. Let's go ahead and get started. You can search up SWICD Steam Deck or you can click the link in the description. But when you get to this page right here, scroll down to where it says installation. Click installation right there and it's gonna lead you to this page and you're gonna see a list of files. You're gonna download the top three, the Vigum bus driver, the Microsoft Visual and the Steam Deck's controller driver. When you click on the Vigum bus driver, it's gonna lead you to this page. You're gonna scroll down to assets and you're gonna click on this file right here to download it. On the Microsoft one, once you click it, it downloads itself. Now on the Steam Windows control device, it's gonna do the same thing as the last one. And you can do the same thing by clicking assets and download the setup. Once downloaded, open up the Vigum bus driver. Once the dialog box pops up, you can click next. Accept the license agreement and click next. Then click install and this box will pop up asking to make changes to this device and you can select yes. Next, click the VC redistrib x64.exe file. This will download a Microsoft driver, agree to the terms and install. It'll ask to make changes again, select yes, then it will finish installing and you can hit close. Next, go ahead and double click the SWICD file you downloaded. A box will open again asking, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Select yes. Then a box will pop up asking what language you want to use, select the language of your choice. After that, click I agree, next and install. Then finish the setup. After that, you'll see the SWICD driver on the desktop. And if you double click it, you'll notice that nothing happens. So how to see what's going on and if the driver is even working, you need to look at the bottom right of the screen on the taskbar. You see that little up arrow? Click that and it'll show you all of this and you can see the little SWICD driver. Right click the driver and click show. This will open the SWICD menu. You can customize everything you want here, but you need to click these buttons. Go to profiles and make sure you check the box mouse movement disabled and buttons disabled. Then you can save the profile and exit the control panel. And just like that, you're done. If you open up a game, you can see it works. And after you tested it inside of like an Epic Games Battle.net outside of Steam and it's working on the games, you are finished. It's working, congratulations, you did it. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed and I helped, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.